how long would it take to get to Kepler 452b? If you've ever wondered about the possibility of traveling to another Earth-like planet, you're probably curious about Kepler 452b, often called Earth 2.0. Let's explore how long it would take to get there. Kepler 452b is a fascinating exoplanet located about 1,400 light years away from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. To put that distance into perspective, a light year is the distance light travels in one year, which is about 6 trillion miles. So, 1,400 light years is an enormous distance. Currently, our fastest spacecraft, Voyager 1, has been traveling for over 40 years and has only reached a distance of about 14 light hours from Earth. This gives you an idea of just how slow our current technology is compared to the vast distances in space. Now let's consider some hypothetical scenarios. If we were to travel at the speed of our current fastest spacecraft, it would take tens of thousands of years to reach Kepler 452b. For example, Voyager 1 moves at about 0.006% of the speed of light. At this speed, it would take over 26 million years to cover the 1,400 light years to Kepler 452b. But what if we could travel much faster? Even if we could somehow achieve the speed of light, which is theoretically impossible with our current understanding of physics, it would still take 1,400 years to get to Kepler 452b. However, due to time dilation, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, time would pass differently for the travelers. For them, the journey might feel like only about a century, but for everyone else, back on Earth, one Thor 400 years would have passed. To make this even more astounding, if our ancestors had started traveling to Kepler 452b at the speed of light around the year 6 and 15 CE, they would just be arriving there today. This highlights the immense scale of space and the challenges we face in interstellar travel. In summary, reaching Kepler 452b is a monumental task with our current technology. Even at the speed of light, it would take 1,400 years, and with our current fastest spacecraft, it would be tens of thousands of years. The journey to Earth 2.0 remains a significant scientific and technological challenge.